Hey guys, in this video we're going to discuss how to upgrade to .NET 5 or even install it if you've never installed any .NET framework at all. So .NET 5 is all encompassing and it is actually backwards compatible with a lot of things that you would have in your ASP.NET or your .NET Core 3.1 application. However, if you do desire to migrate to .NET 5, then this video is for you. So our journey starts off with a simple Google search for .NET 5. We can follow the first link and then that will lead us to an area where we would either download the SDK or the runtime or both. There's really no limitation on which one you should. So you would install the SDK so that Visual Studio gives you all the tools you need to be able to create a .NET 5 application, whereas the runtime is more a set of libraries so that you can host the application like on IIS. So you can check out my other video on hosting uh, .NET Core applications and the steps you need to go through to install the runtime, prepare IIS and publish your application. So for the SDK, we want to download the appropriate version. So if you're on Mac, Linux, Windows, they have an installation package for you. So you can go ahead and click the appropriate one. I'll go with the X64. And once this download is completed, you will get this installer, which allows you to just go ahead and click install. You go through any security checkpoints you have to, and it's a fairly quick and straightforward process. So it will let you know when it was successful. If it wasn't successful, you probably want to double check that you got the correct version and or reach out to Microsoft support. Either way, if you have the success screen, then you're one step closer. So you can go ahead and click close. And then if you're going to be creating a brand new project, then you can go ahead and launch Visual Studio, click create project, choose your template. So let's go with a .NET Core web application, click next, give it a name. So this is just a sample, so I won't you know, be too formal with anything. Go ahead and click create. And then on this screen, you would be able to select .NET Core 5.0 from the list and then you choose the appropriate template that you wish to work with, change anything else, and then go ahead and click create. So that is how you can create your first .NET 5 application. Now in the event that you already have a .NET Core, maybe 3.1 application, then what we would do to upgrade it is to bring up the project, click on your, what's this, the project file, and then this will just show the XML the XML configuration behind it, and then you are going to make a few changes. So where you see .NET Core App 3.1, you don't want to change that to .NET Core or .NET, sorry, 5.0. So just like that, .NET 5.0. Let me just make it a little bigger so it's more obvious. So you want to just replace dot, uh, well, I keep on saying dot, .NET Core App 3.1 with .NET 5.0. That's step number one. The next few steps would have you updating your package references. So right now, all of my packages that would say 3.1, I would actually want to change them to maybe five, right? Or I could do a build. Well, my build is actually failing because it's saying that my dependencies are not matching up to what is expected, which is what we're about to fix. So let me take a different approach. Instead of building or doing anything else, we can just right click our project, go over to manage new get packages, and then look at install, and then you'll see all of the available updates from maybe 3.1 to 5, or from whatever version it was at, because I have some other ones that are not Microsoft dependencies directly and they are offering the upgrade option. So I'm going to go ahead and go ahead and do all of these updates. So I'm going to click updates, select all packages and allow the update. And then after that exercise, if I do another build, then I see that everything has been successfully updated. So in a nutshell, maybe your project is different from mine in terms of the dependencies and the libraries that you're using, but the steps remain the same. You install your SDK, you come and change your target framework, update all of your NuGet packages, and then you should be good to go with .NET 5. 
if you go back to your project file, then you would see that all of them have been changed out to 5.0. All right, so those are the steps you can take to update your, whether it's your Razor pages or your MVC application to .NET 5.